22 Magnum. 22 long. All right, this here is a 22 Magnum revolver and a 22 long revolver right here. Same gun. Same gun. It's a heritage uh, firearm. It's um, it's a good little fire gun. I'm gonna tell you what. It's one of my favorite guns to shoot. Yeah, it would be the one that I reached for. Well, you haven't never shot this yet. No, not yet. 22 Magnum. You have not shot. Now. This is the difference. 22 long rifle fits in there. Take 22, that one out. Okay. 22 okay. long fits in there. It fits, but it's sloppy up in there. Now you take this 22 Magnum. Only thing that goes in it is the lead. The leads are the same size. These two pieces, the tips. Right. I see that. They're the same size. So they fit down into that hole, but once that's that... The brass is bigger. The brass is thicker than this one. So, it fits in there tight. 22 Magnum does not fit in nowhere on this, except for the head. You cannot shoot it. It does fit perfectly in that one. Okay. Now... This is the 22 short. Like I just said, it fits in this one. It will fit up in here. That's loose. But I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, you can see your hand moving. You can't really see the it, bullet, but you can it see can, your hand. It's not supposed to be able to do that. Okay. This so you here. can put a 22 long and a 22 long magnum in that one. You can, but I would not recommend it. Because whenever you shoot it, the brass is going to swell. It's going to swell and get stuck, or it's going to split. So the 22 stuck. long is going to split, is what yeah. you're saying. So this one should only be used for 22 long magnums. This would be 22 magnum. Okay. This is, you can shoot, if I had some shorts, and I do somewhere, 22 long rifle or 22 short rifle. In that one. In this one. We'll shoot either one of those in this. Okay. Okay. But there's. So we're going to take this outside and try the new bullets, right? Yeah, I'm going to do that in a little bit. Cool. The 22 Heritage, Heritage. This is the Magnums. Okay, this is the Magnums. I want you to hear the difference of the power that this bullet has. All right. I get the right. Did you not put enough in there? I didn't put it. I didn't fill it. Right, that right. was 22 Magnums. Two of them was duds. That's one of my reasons I like to vacuum seal my bullets. There is no telling how old them two bullets were. So four out of two out of four, and it's a six shot. I, don't, I didn't want to put no brand new bullets in, but you seen the, seen how, you heard how loud that I was. I thought maybe you didn't put a bullet in that no, chamber. I was, mean that round. Well, I had, I had four bullets. Two was two rounds were empty. Two went off. Two duds. Ah. So now that's why I like to vacuum seal because it, it preserves. That's right. That's right. It keeps so anything now, out of there. That's the first time Sammy's heard a uh, pistol go off. Come here. We're trying to desensitize the dogs to Sampson, guns going off. The German Shepherd's been shot at, so he's like super sensitive. Sam's like, heck no. You got something went pow pow in your hand. He said, nope. But you heard the difference of the, the, the bullets. That was the Magnum. This is 22 long. That's in the same gun, just different cylinders. Cylinders, okay. So. Here's your 22 max, 22 long. You see oh, how much different sound. The difference is so much different. Yeah, it the is. 22 longs, they're all the same, the same grain, 40 grains. But it's a different of the, the grain. It's 20 long, 22 long rifle. 
is a uh, finer grain. It's a um, flakes. Yeah. Magnums are little beads. It looks like um, very, very small round gunpowder. Yeah, I remember you telling me last night they spent like twenty years. Uh, oh, they. Getting I say that twenty perfect. years. They, they might have did ten years, ten, fifteen years. I don't know, but everything's a trial and error. They finally got it to where they like it, and now it's it's a very good bullet. It's a loud little bullet, but it's it you, it, wait. it it works. You know what's surprising? That we didn't get return fire. Yeah. Yeah, normally out here, oh, guys, yeah, we just shot, so now they're all loading. Out here where we live in the country, it's not uncommon at all hours of the day, even in the evening, people to shoot guns. I don't know. It's a country thing. If you don't understand, I cannot explain it to you. What's funny is that normally if one person shoots, either your phone starts ringing from your neighbors, hey, everything okay? Or somebody's like, hey, go inside and get the AR. Hey, go get the shotgun. And they'll return fire, not at you, not like shooting at you, but almost like saluting you. Yeah, I hear you. I don't know. If you live in the country, you already know what I'm talking about. Like I said, if you're from the city, you would think that's a drive-by. So love you guys. Um, have a blessed night. You know, we're just trying out new bullets and... <laughs> If you saw my last video that I just put up, you know while we're trying out bullets. So God bless you guys. Have a blessed night.